everyone and welcome back to another episode of how to be a best. I'm Dr. B and I'm here to help you get your power back and have every guy run after you. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified for the future videos. Today we will be talking about short breakups. All people argue at some point, but when you see that your needs are not met and your partner is not willing to change anything and you keep arguing and arguing about the same things over and over again, depriving your partner of your presence can be a golden advice. If push comes to shove and the only solution is a breakup, do break up. This is where most of the good girls are being taken advantage of. When you see that your partner thinks that he is right and you are wrong and he does nothing to actually listen to you and find a way to make you happy, this means that you need to teach him a lesson. This is where most of the girls are so much afraid of losing the guy. They end up compromising because they think that this is how relationships work and they also think that this is the only way to sustain longevity in the relationship when it is the other way around. It sounds like a paradox but when you show to him that you don't care about the longevity of the relationship, about taking a short break or a longer one, you make him care more. So if you're not mad and you're like, okay, this isn't working, I'm just gonna take my staff and leave. Let's leave the whole idea for a couple of months and then we'll see how it goes. His first reaction will be, yeah, sure, let's do that because of his ego. But when he sees that you mean what you say and you have already taken your stuff and you keep posting things on Instagram on how much fun you have with your girlfriends and you start leveling up and looking way better than you used to and you start doing new things for yourself, then this will be the best lesson for him to understand that if he doesn't meet your needs, there is no way that you will be around. This is a good way to teach him how to treat you like a princess. Men are so used to having women so ready to compromise on anything because for women emotions are more important and marriage is something that they put value on and this is totally fine. It's just that he doesn't need to know that. I've said again in other videos that the person that has more power in a relationship is the one who has less feelings for the other. Whether you like it or not, this is what happens. And here in this channel, I'm not sure sugarcoating anything and I'm giving you reality as it is. This is why I'm always saying you should ditch your pink glasses. I know that it is frustrating and I know that you have been raised wearing these pink glasses. This is what the patriarchal society wants you to do in order to get advantage of you. But I'm here to form the next generation of women. The mean girls, the bad girls, the bitches. The women that will never cry over a man again. Don't be afraid to stay alone and take short breaks because the less you're afraid of being alone, the more you will actually get to be with people. This is what happens. I know it's weird. So if after this short breakup, he doesn't seem to care and he doesn't seem to be willing to change things, or he doesn't get back to you after a couple of months, then this means that this man was not right for you from the beginning. He would have ended up taking advantage of you. He would have ended up using you. The man always has to like you more. If you follow this recipe, you will have all the time in the world and all the energy to focus on yourself. So again, if you see that things are not working, that your needs are not met, never have a fight, never start shouting and being very emotional, this doesn't lead anywhere. On the contrary, it gives all the power to your partner. So if you go like, you know, I don't think this is working for me. I don't think we are on the same page. Maybe we should take a break to see how things are. It's either he will be very alarmed and he will understand that he's about to lose you and he will go like, oh no, 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 sorry. Let's talk about it. Let's find a solution. I really want to make you happy. Then it means that he is a good quality man and he has many things to offer you. But there is another option that he goes like, yeah, sure, why not? Let's break up. So if his ego is talking, he should get a lesson. So you take your stuff, you leave you never call him again. The first thing that you do, as I said earlier, is that you should level up. Try to change something in your appearance. Go to the hair salon, do some shopping, start going out with your girlfriends and post many, many things on Instagram so that he gets to see how happy you are and how much fun you have. Attend many, many events. I know that you just want to stay home and do nothing, but you really need to put pressure on yourself if you want to have all your power back and if you don't want anybody to take advantage of you. We don't analyze what happened, we don't mention him again. If you want to talk about him, take a piece of paper, as I've said in other videos, write down what you want and then throw it in the fireplace. You should never 
text him again. If he doesn't call you in a couple of months, it means that he wasn't worth it first place, which is a good thing again, because you saved time and you figured out that this is not working. So if he doesn't even want to get back to you, he will always remember you as a difficult woman, not just another good girl in the long list of all the girls that he has been dating. But if he comes back, it means that he really cares about your well-being. He really cares about you. He wants to do anything possible to make you happy. Always remember that this period of the short breakup. It's a good period to let him prove to you your energy, your dreams, your feelings. If he's worthy, he will come back to you and he will try to do anything to make you happy. Always remember you are the priority. You are supposed to be happy. You are supposed to be on the pedestal, not him. So if things are not working your way, the more you shake the waters, the better the outcome. Men are glued to women and fell in love with women that they are not afraid to be alone. I know that you don't want to be alone. I know that you really want to be in a relationship, but you need to show that to men too. And by coming off as compromising and as easy going, you get the opposite result. So use this paradox to turn things your way. That was all for today. I really hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button below, leave your comment and share it with your best friends. If you want a private consultation with me, hit me up in the email in the description of the video. See you on the next one.